Yeah, and even with the warmer temperatures, people mm -hmm. are kind of getting into that full fall mode. Of and course. of course, a big part of that are the fall leaves, the fall colors. It's been a little cooler. We're starting to see a few here and there mm -hmm. if you if you drive around a little bit, but everyone wants to know about those ideal conditions for that. Exactly. It's the annual fall foliage report, Kate. Yeah. So some <laughs> things that impact fall colors every year are moisture and temperature, and that's not just in the fall, but leading up to the fall in the spring and summer. And then, of course, once we get here, so we actually saw a pretty wet start to summer. Mm -hmm. Remember, we saw well over an inch of rain just within the first few days of June. June, but we had that dry slot from about mid June into July where we started to see some of those drought conditions. So that probably stressed out trees and leaves a little bit as well as all of us. <laughs> uh, so we'll have to see how that will affect this year's fall foliage season. Good news is we didn't see an extreme drought, uh, but then also temperature. We start to obviously lose sunlight. Temperatures start to cool down. And the one thing I will say when it comes to temperature that I think is the most important is that first freezing or sub freezing morning is usually a game changer for um, fall colors that can really shorten a season. So hopefully we don't get one of those too early. Yeah, so we know what makes them change, but mm -hmm. why do we get those brilliant colors and why do they change in the way that they do? It's all about science. So uh, we, love science. we love science. So what makes leaves green is chlorophyll and chlorophyll is that green pigment and we start to lose chlorophyll when we lose sunlight. Those go hand in hand. So we just naturally start to lose that green color, which then shows the true leaves colors, the yellows, the reds, the oranges. So the reason why we get to see the fall colors is kind of a sad thing. Trees are losing their chlorophyll. They're going to go dormant for the winter, but then we also see the beauty of that as well. It's all part of the process, and we know that it also <laughs> kind of depends where you are, what mm -hmm. you're seeing. So what are we seeing across the state right now? Who's getting the fall color first? Well, as usual, we're going to start to see some of the first uh, most pigmented fall colors across the Adirondacks and the Catskills. It's usually based on latitude and elevation. Uh, and then southern tier is usually third followed by the rest of Western New York, Buff or New York State, I would say. Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse are usually right in the middle of the pack, and then Long Island and New York City are at the tail end of the fall color season. And no matter what, with the colors or mm -hmm. how bright they are, where they are, if it's windy, that's a game changer. Complete game changer. <laughs> you think about the October snowstorm, October right. 12th and 13th of 2006. We lost all of our fall colors before we could even appreciate them. So wind, like, we're like what we got going on right now. <laughs> it's a little busy. <laughs> Maybe this is the, the theoretical windstorm. We're getting it out of the way right now. But yes, that's the one <laughs> thing. Fall always brings in that chance for some pretty strong storm systems and wind. We do not want to see a windstorm into this month or next month. So what about people? We know this time of year they love to do those family mm -hmm. photo shoots and all that stuff with the beautiful fall leaves. So Western New York, what are we what are we thinking when we might see those colors? That's the big question, <laughs> right? Well, I will say it's about a week early right now for us to be seeing some of those fall color reports. Last year we had a peak of November 3rd through the 9th. This year I'm thinking we could see peak colors in Buffalo right around Halloween, oh, October right. 31st, a little late October into early November. So about a week early to match the week early of the part colors we're seeing right now. Then for the southern tier, they're usually a week earlier to begin with. So I'm thinking even before November. At this point, at this rate that we're going, these are our potential peaks for this year's fall colors. Oh, we'll see. Now you know, everybody. You can plan, plan away. And you mm -hmm. know, another sign. Thank you, Elise.